Hey there, my name is Joe Renee Feeler and I wanted to introduce myself. <laughs> Some of you don't know about me. Um, I have a background in business and an MBA and, and in my late 30s I experienced transcendental layers within myself that I didn't know were there and it added so much to my life and it, it wasn't through hitting rock bottom, it wasn't through a psychedelic experience, it was through me being curious. It was through me experiencing some stress and being curious about another way to look at a problem in business, by the way, that sort of started this other path in addition to my other sort of ways and layers of being Jill. And here we are all these years over a decade later. Um, and I love accessing and operating and being from these transcendental layers while also being an intelligent, educated, uh, professional person with a family and with a, with a <laughs> I want to say a normal, but it's very extraordinary um, life. But I never had to leave my career um, in order to be transcendental. I was transcendental while I was in corporate. And it's interesting, and I think I'm getting more clear about the fact that a lot of my um, audience and clients that I get to work with at professionals and you have careers and you have families and you live you know, around the world, you don't have to leave your career to be transcendental. You don't have to, you know, change your spouse or your loved one in order for you to be transcendental. And I feel like a lot of folks are really resonating with what I'm doing because I understand that. There are a lot of really unfortunate ideas about um, things like ascension and these other sort of you know, consciousness words. And there's a lot of teachers and teachings and um, intuitives out there that seem to believe that your career can be in the way of you being transcendental and that does that's definitely not what I see what I know and what I experience and I, I nothing can get in the way of your transcendentalism nothing um, so they obviously have a different those that would say that would have a different interpretation or perspective about what transcendentalism is um, and it's always accessible to all of us within anything or anything we're doing or not doing within our humanity and that really sort of really um, sets free these layers of greatness within ourselves and within each other so you can watch me in secret <laughs> if you want to on youtube and things like that i don't know how you came across this video but i do um, offer deeper experiences that allow and where i'm offering more of my transcendentalism um, messages, experiences that really inspire the transcendentalism within you. And those you can experience totally in private. I don't even need to know you're doing it. Um, you don't have to do it through my membership on my site where we have a lot more interaction. There's a Discord server where we can interact, etc. I also now have a Roku channel where we have those membership experiences. It's $9.99 USD per month. And if you're in other parts of the world, it has a slightly different pricing. Um, so just consider that for yourself, but that would be a super private way for you to be exactly what you're being while being supported in a very, very unique way. It's like transcendental transcendentalism <laughs> and you may love it. So on the Roku channel, that would be a way and I don't even send you a newsletter in that regard. You can do it completely in respecting your, your present world and your present reality and maybe just adding something alongside your present reality that may make your present reality even better. Um, so the Roku channel is an option and just search for my name, Jill Renee Feeler, and then we'll have an Amazon Fire channel, hopefully um, within like four weeks of me pub the publishing date of this share, okay? Anyway, <laughs> so those within consciousness and um, enlightenment communities and Ascension Protocol folks, um, some of those have already sort of... Um, decided that they resonate with my work and I have, I'm so grateful for that portion of my audience because they're, they're sort of pros um, at this whole transcendentalism uh, idea and way of being. And it is really an honor and a privilege 
um, that I feel to also interact with those that are not a part of that community at all. And you guys have, you know, anyway, dear, it's a different category in terms of my audience. And I really respect all of all of you, wherever you're, wherever you're coming from and whatever you're also doing in your life. OK, anyway, I want to do to let uh, let you know about those two other options and the experiences for the membership are very, very different. Um, it is much deeper. There's already sort of an assumption that I have about those individuals and their sort of interest in, in deeper things because they have um, you know, either paid for the channel on Roku or Amazon Fire eventually um, or through the membership. So I don't have that sort of, a sort of welcome message um, in that regard. I just sort of dive right in and it's, yeah, and I try to use very normal language. Um, I don't feel the need to use different lingo that other individuals, uh, anyway, and I also feel like it gets in the way actually of the pure transcendentalism that we have access to by using, I want to use say artificial language that's artificially inflated um, with an energetic frequency that is ungrounded and very out of body and hello, <laughs> this part of this life is being in the bodysuit. Um, anyway, so there's that. And then also I wanted to let those know for any of you that are interested in the idea of simulation theory and simulation hypothesis, um, that is a, I heard the podcasts that I listen to are Sean Carroll's Mindscape. I love that podcast. I listen to the Jimmy Dore show. Anyway, um, I listen to Joe Rogan cause I love some of his guests, not all of his guests, but some of his guests. Um, Anyway, there's a lot. Oh, Dave Rubin. I love Dave Rubin, Dave Rubin and I like Rolling Stones, Useful Idiots. Anyway, um, so Sean Carroll, why was I even talking about this? I apologize. Oh, okay. Um, there were some different guests that I think Sam had on and that Sean had on that mentioned this idea of simulation theory. And I heard Elon Musk talk about it with Joe Rogan the first time that he was on in 2019. And as I heard these very intelligent, non-woo-woo, if you will, beings speak about the simulation theory and the simulation hypothesis, which is that this reality is a simulation, I started feeling like, whoa, wait a minute, that's a whole other framework that works really well, actually, when I plug in all of the different views that I'm shown as my transcendental layers. And if I use that language of simulation hypothesis and use words sort of like a game theory, like a gamer um, simulation reality sort of thing, it, it really sets free actually even better. A lot of the different existential answers that I provide, cosmology, who we are and why we're here, what this reality is and what it was, what it, what it's for, if there is a higher purpose or a, or a, a transcendental purpose, and it, it just sort of was a huge aha for me. So the first attempt, I want to say, of using simulation theory language for what I'm for what I recognize, for what I access transcendentally about who, what this reality is, what it's for, and what we are as human life within the simulation, it's, it makes me just so, I feel so liberated <laughs> in terms of like, oh, this framework actually works far better than some of the other frameworks and ideologies and things I was trying to kind of force fit into. So I am even more jazzed about my work, and this is, I've been doing this since 2010, I think, Professionally, I think 2010 is when I first did uh, a podcast. Anyway, so it's just like, ah. Oh. So if you're interested in that, there is a um, specific program, um, and it's not part of the membership, sorry, that you may really like. It's eight hours, and you could do it in your free time. It's They're all in videos um, through a Vimeo um, private link that you'll get once you sign up on the website. And there are audio files for each of them as well. So you could download it to your mobile and, and access that however you want to. It's not on Audible and that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know what kind of gatekeepers are there related to Audible and some other programs like that, but, but I haven't surpassed those gatekeepers and frankly, I haven't tried. Um, I don't want to have to prove it to those sorts of gatekeepers and you know that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm just sharing what I share and with great results. <laughs> okay, so the name of that program, if you wanna search for it, I'll, I'll include the link here as well. Um, it's called, 
Oh, that's so, I love how I did that. Okay, so <laughs> I've got lucky. On the website, just go to jillreneefeeler.com forward slash J-R-F as in feeler, simulation hypothesis forward slash, okay? Or you could just do an internet search for Jill Renee Feeler simulation hypothesis and I think it'll come up. The name of the actual program is a new framework for transcendence, updating the simulation hypothesis. Okay, so if you enjoyed this little mini message and little intro and kind of who I am and how I offer myself and um, all those things, I feel like you may love that eight hour experience. I priced it really affordably because it, it, anyway, it just felt like it was the right thing to do. So it's, I think it's like 76 USD for eight hours and that's, it's pretty mind blowing. Um, and it may, yeah, anyway, I don't know what it may do. You get to decide that, right? <laughs> anyway, um, offering my respect and yes, offering my love to you and whatever you are um, allowing yourself to be as an experiencer in this very interesting simulation uh, called Earth and Humanity and this universe, which is part of the simulation. Yeah, okay, all right, bye-bye for now. My website is jillreneefeeler.com. On Roku, you can find me under Jill Renee Feeler. And eventually on, Roku, or on Amazon Fire, you'll be able to find me on, on Jill Renee Feeler as well. I respect any way that you, want to exper- that you want to interact with my work, whether you want to do it sort of um, in your own way and not be on my newsletter and that sort of thing. I just want to make sure you have access to what you deserve to be the transcendental layers that you are. Okay, bye-bye.